What's up guys, Pearlman here with another video for you and today I'm going to be reviewing this bag right here. Now this bag is called Waterfly and the reason I wanted to review this bag today is because I've reviewed a bunch of other bags in the past which have all been sort of bigger, more expensive, more fancy um, but I've yet to review a nice little day pack like this and this is the best small cheap day pack that I've found that really works well for a lot of my needs so I'm going to jump into it today and go through all of the details first it is a single shoulder bag which makes it really easy to flip around um, and access and it's good because it's got all of the zips facing one side so when you bring it around in the shoulder like this um, all of the pockets are up the top so it means that nothing's going to be falling out now on the main section of this bag it's got three main compartments the first main compartment is just like a big open section where you can put in bigger things in here I usually put like my drink bottle sometimes my camera um, some lenses so anything big just sort of gets put in this uh, big open section here it's also got a sleeve section so if you wanted to separate some of the things um, you can put them in here so like paperwork wallets battery packs can go in there the next section zips down quite far this one has a bunch of um, little slots i usually put like my notepad fits in there quite nicely a pen any little things like batteries or sim cards or anything you want to keep like separated can go in these little pockets here and then you've got a front pocket which is smaller and the zip's a lot smaller as well so uh, nothing's going to be falling out of it this front pocket also has a little headphone section so if you wanted to put your phone in this back pocket and have headphones coming through this gap into your ears that's a possibility as well now on the bottom here there's a bit that unzips and it's just got like a little bit of netting there and a spot that you can pass stuff through to sort of sit on the bottom now I haven't really used this that much but the thing that it would be useful for is say if you wanted to pass through like a, a rain jacket or something like that so it would be hanging down from either side but you can pass it through here another thing that this section would be good for is like an umbrella so if the bag's completely full you've got no other space you can get this section put your umbrella in there and it works well on the back panel of this bag there is a secret zip on the side here which is great and that's against your back so the things I usually put in this one are things like passports fit in there quite nicely um, any type of cash can go in there anything that's thin and you want to protect a little bit more I put it in this back pocket because it's sitting on your back so one means that it's less easy for someone to you know unzip your bag and take it out if you're like on a train or something like that and second even if it is sitting somewhere and they start going through your bag they might miss this back pocket because it's pretty hidden here so that's a cool little feature on the handle there is also another pocket um, that unzips for a little bit of a section you can put anything in here from like cash to chewing gum anything you want that you want easy access to right on the front there you can do that and that zips up it's really easy to adjust the size of this you know however you want it which is great um, it's also got a clip at the front so if it's heavy and you get back home you're super hot and you don't want to be lifting it off your head you can just unclip it and it just comes off okay last but not least it's got a little loop section here so if you want to get a little carabiner hang anything off there like a drink bottle or something like that um, you can do that with this little section and then also it's got a netting on the side so this netting is great because a lot of day packs and smaller bags don't have this so it means that you have to put your drink bottle inside the main compartment and the issue with that is that there is usually precious things in the main compartment like a camera lenses other electrical stuff like Kindles or batteries or things like that so you don't want to have like say a leaking water bottle in the main compartment with other electrical stuff in there so that's why I really liked this bag because it had this extra thing for a water bottle so this is a normal water bottle 
fits in there fine. Thin glass water bottle, beautiful. One thing you have to be careful with if you have a glass water bottle and it's thin like mine, is when you swing it around like this, it means that the water bottle's on the bottom side. So if you swing it around too far, it could go upside down and with a glass water bottle like this one, it's slippery so it can fall out and smash. So that's one thing to be careful of is whatever's in this pocket will be at the bottom and could slide out if you swing it too far around. Other things that work well in this little side pocket is an umbrella. You know, you can fit in there. Sunglass case fits in there. A little tripod like so. So this bag's got a lot of different uses. I've used it for going out and getting footage, like taking little some sunset shots and things like that. It's nice and small. It fits my small camera, one other lens. I can carry a water bottle or a small tripod with me. So it's a great, just sort of like day bag, going out, doing things like that. Um, traveling, I've used it, using it as my day pack now. It's nice and padded on the back side and on this bit here, so it never feels like you're carrying too much weight as well because you can't fit too many things in here. But it's big enough to have, you know, anything you really need for a, a small day trip, like a camera, water bottle, umbrella. I've also had it as my carry-on bag for this trip in particular. And it's great because it easily fits under the seat and you've still got room for your actual feet to get under the seat. And just really easy to take on and off. You know, it's like, it's just a one-handed bag. It's very easy to use. It also has a reflector on the back, so if you're cycling along, this just helps so you don't get hit by a car. And the material itself is water resistant. Now, it's definitely not waterproof, and the zippers themselves, you know, aren't really protected at all, except this, this uh, top one's got a bit of an over, over cover. And another thing I like about this bag is it's cheap. It's not an expensive bag. It's around $30 US. So it's a great bag for the price, and you don't have to worry too much about you know, taking care of it too much. You know, you can knock it around, have an easy day bag, do whatever you want with it, um, because it's only thirty dollars. And I've had this bag for about two months now. Used it pretty much every day, and it's held up fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Got no complaints so far. So there you go. Quick little video for you. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you have any other day packs that you use that you would highly recommend for travel or just for your daily life. Leave them in the comments down below. But that's it for now. Till next time, bye.